My name is Stephanie Klein. I am a senior and my major is marketing and a minor in merchant. My favorite takeaway from the trip was when Mr. Buffett was talking about um, what his his philosophy is on how he lives his life and it's just really simple. He's such a humble, um, down-to-earth human being and it was really great just, just to get to know him but uh, he was talking about as long as you have good relationships with your friends and your family. You really don't need that anything was, um, else. Very exciting to hear. Um, and then he was saying, if I could go anywhere else in the world, I would just go visit my friends because my friends are what keep me grounded. My family is what keeps me grounded. And my other grounded. favorite part was when we were invited to dinner. And um, we got to just sit with him and have casual conversations and talk about uh, really anything, his favorite parts about working and, and um, what he likes best about his job. Two, two businesses. The first was Nebraska Furniture Mart and the second was Borsham's. And the Nebraska Furniture Mart had no idea how big it was. It's 420,000 square feet, which is amazing. I mean, it's bigger than any store that I've ever been in. And uh, what was surprising to me was the margins that they sell their furniture. It was just a different way of looking at how to sell products, but they're doing so well because they have such low margins. Borsham's was very interesting. We... Uh, it was not more of a tour, it was just kind of look around. And Susan was the woman who um, gave us just kind of an informational talk outside of the jewelry store. And she just kind of told us how her life story happened, what she ended up doing and where she was like, today. I never imagined my life to be in Omaha, Nebraska, let alone the position I'm in. But here I am and I absolutely love it. So that was really interesting just to kind of hear her it story. It was really funny because she said she spent 15 minutes trying to argue with him, trying to tell him, I don't want to be the CEO. I'm the wrong person for the job. And she goes, if I could give one piece of advice, it would be, if Warren Buffett offers you the CEO position of a company, you take it. Do not argue with him. So that was that was really interesting, really one funny. Of, one of my takeaways that I found was never underestimate the power of a letter. So this woman, Tracy Britt, she graduated from Harvard. She owned, uh, she founded this group. It was a women's organizational group at Harvard Harvard Business she said School. one of the things is that especially in the financial sector of the business world, women are highly underrepresented and so she wrote to Mr. Buffett saying that she really wanted to bring her group to the Q&A session just like all of these schools were getting to do and so he wrote her back and said come come along you can you're officially and then on top of that she uh, wrote him a letter and she said Mr. Buffett I really want to come work with you so, uh, through Tracy's story and through Mr. Core's story Realize it's true. You can never underestimate the power of a letter because you don't know who's going to see it. You don't know. Um, you, you don't know if you never try. We got this opportunity because of Mr. Core and his letters that he sent to Debbie. My advice to future students would be apply. There is no other experience like this. I've. I have done the executive job shadow and I loved the executive job shadow. I, I learned so much about day-to-day -day operations within a business, but this is, it goes above and beyond what any school can offer. Really, really good, strong advice from a man who has seen everything from the moon and back. And so advice, definitely, I would say go for it. Do not miss this opportunity.